I'll bet that you ask yourself occasionally, why is this journey so difficult? Why is it such a struggle? Why did I ask to do this? I find myself asking that question a lot. And I want to share an enlightening story with you, something that happened to me on the day of the solar eclipse that really just sheds a ton of light on why we're here, why it's so important to just do the healing work, release expectations, stop trying to reach for all that magic that you're seeking because you're just simply putting yourself in a frequency of lack. When you can learn to get present, learn to accept where you are in the moment, that's when things start to come forward. The solar eclipse was a very interesting time for me. I really wasn't feeling well days leading up to that and even days following that. I was going through this purge, felt like I had, it was very flu-like symptoms, had a fever coming and going, was all congested. And something amazing happened to me right at the beginning of the solar eclipse. I started to tune in and channel this galactic message and it was a message about the eclipse really being like a signpost or a gauge. The Federation was watching the consciousness of the light workers, of the star seeds of you guys. And how were you able to get centered in that moment, regardless of where you were, whether you were in the path or not? You were aware that it was happening. Were you able to tune in to get centered? to raise your vibration and really connect collectively with the rest of us around the planet. So the galactics are watching this. It's a gauge on consciousness, really, to see where we're at and how we can better serve the collective. So this information is coming through to me during the eclipse, right? And I'm I'm sitting outside in the sun. I was in a place where there was 94% totality. It was amazing to see, even though it wasn't 100%. I was still able to experience the effects of it, felt very expansive, even though I was going through this purge. But something amazing happened later that night. So I want to preface this. When you're not feeling well, when you're feeling down, and your mind starts to go off on a tangent and say, well, this just isn't working for me. Things aren't happening fast enough. I want you to know that you are in your mind and you are creating a reality based on expectations. It is so, so important to accept how you are, how you're feeling in the moment and allow yourself to just flow with grace. Yeah, a lot of times you're not going to feel well. A lot of times you may feel low vibe. That's the dense energy coming up to be felt. So feel it. Be present with it. Connect with your heart. Bring forward that love and allow yourself to be in the moment. It's so, so important. So that's what I did throughout the day after the eclipse, had a couple errands to do, ran some errands, came back home and um, was just really trying to feel better. I was trying to keep my energy moving because I knew that this purge was a release of density. So how can we best get through it? It's by getting your energy moving, taking conscious action steps, breathing, breath work, grounding, staying hydrated, did some meditation and things like that. So later that night, had some energy moving, get in bed, and I'm laying in bed, and I can't go to sleep, right? And all of a sudden, my guide, my spirit guide drops in, okay? And he starts sharing with me or making available to me a way that I can help people connect with their guides, with their higher self, with their spirit guides, even deceased loved ones, right? Channel this energy, channel this information and how to perceive this information. Now, this is something that I do if you've been subscribed to my channel or following me for a long time. I've done some channelings, and I talk about frequently about messages that I get. I have a very telepathic connection, so I literally like hear my guides. Um, I've seen them on occasion in my mind's eye as well, but a lot of it's very, very telepathic. So if you think about telepathy, that's my experience. But I never was able to quantify it and really understand how I do it. Now, I teach people how to connect, how to get a deep sense of presence, get heart space connected, and make themselves available to perceive whatever it is that's gonna come up. But I was never really aware of how I um, go through this process to be able to connect and to be able to perceive these, these messages. 
And I don't just perceive messages. I have back and forth conversations. I can ask questions. I get answers and things like that. So my guide comes to me and he tells me, he goes, Mark, I have something for you. I'm going to walk you through how you do this, how you do this channeling. And he said, I want you to teach this in your A New You program because the, the people that are in there are ready to learn this. And he wanted me to take this information. And it was a lot of information. It was like, I felt like it was going on for an hour or two late at night. I was exhausted. I'm like, can we please pick this up tomorrow? He's like, no, we have to keep going now. I'm like, I'm never going to remember this. He goes, you'll remember it. I said, make sure I remember it. So I woke up the next morning and I remembered it. But the amazing thing was he quantified in a way that is understandable and reproducible and teachable. So I took this to my a new you group um, just this just this last week and uh, presented it to them and they were able to connect. And the people in the group, you know, have struggled to be able to get into a space to be able to connect. We all have expectations on how we could connect to our higher selves and to our guides and how to channel and things like that. And a lot of times the mind gets in the way. So what we want to do is get the mind out of the way, right? Well, this method that he showed me, which is the way that I do it, which I couldn't really quantify or teach prior to this, um, changes all of that. So it allows you to really work with your mind to be able to get this energy flowing and to be able to open up these streams of consciousness. And it was absolutely amazing. And this was something that I wasn't reaching for. It's not something I had asked for. In fact, I was going through this purge, right? The solar eclipse portal opens up and I've got all this, trying to get all this energy, this density cleared, all of this moving. I get this galactic transmission. Um, and then later that night, my guide, I was in a space where my guide was able to come through. And it was, you know, the important thing was it was time for me to be able to, to perceive this information. I was ready for it. And that's something he shared with me. I was ready for this to be able to teach it, to bring it to my group. And the people that are in my group were ready to receive it. So they have this information. They have gone off and they're practicing this. I can't wait to the next session to find out how it's going. The results uh, when I taught it were just magical to watch as they started to connect. So you have the ability to do this. That was one of the messages from my guide. Everybody's a channeler. You're channeling all the time. You're just not aware of it. So it's about being able to set aside these limiting beliefs, kind of tuck them away, move them off to the side and say, you know, I am doing this and I'm ready to start to perceive it. And the way that it was brought to me and the way that I was able to bring it forward to to the people in a new you uh, was just magical. And I'm so grateful to be able to experience that. So when you guys are going through these heavier thoughts, like I can't do this, why aren't I having these experiences? I want to do this. You know, it's important. First of all, I want to mention that doing the healing work and trusting in your process is key. Okay. Because the people in a new you have been working with me for months now in doing that deep healing work. So that's like sets the stage to be able to start to really connect. And then the method on how to connect, which was mind blowing when it came to me, is just a game changer. So you put all that together and then you have this new ability that really allows you to start to connect with all the energy around you. But it starts with doing the healing work. So you have to be committed to doing the work. And I know a lot of people don't get instant results. The healing is not fun. Facing your shadows is not fun. That's why that they're shadows, because you haven't wanted to face them, right? So you have to be able to create that space to allow this dense energy to rise up, to be felt, to be experienced, and to be loved. And that doesn't always feel so good. So when you learn how to navigate that density, navigate your triggers, recenter yourself consciously, start to take control over your, your frequency, and how you feel, do that consciously, you start to take control over your life. You start to balance your chakras. You start to balance your energy. You start to have more self-confidence, more self-worth. Your creative side starts to come forward. You feel more anchored in the body. You start to connect with love and joy, right? You start to be able to speak your truth, connect 
with energy, connect with your intuition and connect with the universe. All of that starts to come into balance, come into play. And when you're not looking for it and not expecting it, that's when the magic starts to drop in. Maybe you'll see an orb. Maybe you'll see some energy. Maybe you'll get a nudge in your solar plexus. Maybe you'll feel in your heart when my Palladian guide connects. I feel it in my heart, right? You start to become more clear, a clear channel. We call this a central channel. A clear channel brings a clearer reality, clearer image. So all the things that you've been um, not able to experience because it's been underneath all the noise, when you quiet the noise, these experiences start to rise up. They were always there. And that's the same with your ability to channel. Who's talking to me? That's the big question, right? Is it my mind? Is it my guide? When you start to clear your channel and commit to this healing work, it starts to become discernible. And the magic that you are, your higher self, starts to land, starts to, to you start to embody it right here in your physical vessel, you start to become it. And all of the magic that resides in those higher frequency bandwidths start to become a part of your reality. If you guys want more information on my program and how you can get involved, it is truly life-changing. I'm gonna put my email in the, in the description. Go ahead, send me an email and I'll send you some information so that you could learn more about it. If this video resonated with you, please watch this one next. Thank you so much.